Welcome to this live demonstration of the next generation of priority and preemption, presented by Applied Information. In this video, we'll show you how we make the roads safer for emergency vehicles, overcome challenges that traditional systems just can't manage, and give your departments more feedback on when and where preemption happens. We utilize both cellular and radio technology to communicate with our innovative software Glance. We then also communicate with the intersection itself to provide earlier and safer preempts. Glance can be configured to trigger preamps from specified zones with unlimited range. So let's get right into it. Uh, this drive will take us along a major arterial triggering some real intersections. This does really show the fire truck getting to where it needs to go with a minimum of delays. So you'll notice the intersection in front of us has already triggered the preemption. You'll notice that not only do we have the straight green, we also have the left arrow for safety, allowing us to make turns in any direction. We do hook into the indicators on the trucks as well, so we know which direction the vehicle is headed next on the map. Notice how the traffic in front of us is moving smoothly. By providing this larger range, we're actually able to flush out traffic before we approach it. This makes it much safer for the emergency vehicle to clear the intersections quickly. Up ahead in this next intersection, you'll notice that there are two lights in the row as we pass over this highway. Uh, we get the on-ramp and the off-ramp. By um, by our larger range, we're actually able to preempt them both and clear both intersections and get over the highway safely. So what you'll notice is as we move through these intersections, the traffic is moving smoothly. We're able to pass through this major arterial using the combination of our cellular and radio technology. We're actually able to make this pass through much safer, much quicker, and much easier for us to do. Now up ahead, this is an intersection that's interesting. This is a over the corner, so as we pass through this one, we'll go past the next one. Uh, so as we go up the hill, we're actually up the hill and around the corner, and we're actually going to tr trigger a preempt at the end of this. Um, this is something a traditional system really struggles with, is with the line of sight being around that corner and with height difference, um, whereas uh, our technology actually allows us to place this perfectly on the map and trigger the preempt even though we're below or above the intersection and we don't have line of sight. So now I'm just going to do a quick transition and we're actually going to flip the car around and we're going to head northbound now. Uh, so as we go the other direction in this, I would want you to point out just a couple more features of how our unique preemption actually helps us make this fire truck run a lot safer. Um, again, you'll notice as we come around the other side, we have this around the corner and the over the hill and we're actually triggering the other intersection from the other side. Um, and there it is, you can see the green ahead. Uh, as we go through, you'll also notice that um, the traffic is stopped in all other directions. So to the left of the truck, to the right of the truck, and in front of the truck on the other side of the lane, uh, all traffic is actually stopped. You'll notice it again in this upcoming intersection. Um, this allows everybody, as everybody else to stop, this allows us as the fire truck to move safely through the intersection in any direction we need to. One other great feature of our technology is something called Dead Reckoning GPS. And what Dead Reckoning GPS allows us to use accelerometers and gyroscopes to actually enhance the accuracy of our GPS position on the map. So this allows the GPS to actually be continuously locked in and mitigates any building reflections, obscured sky, tunnel, overpass, and any other problems that you may have that would affect your conventional GPS preemption systems. This actually allows us to get like to a meter. GPS accuracy. Uh, included with our technology includes some cabinet monitoring as well, uh, which is something no other preemption system offers or allows. Uh, this cabinet monitoring is included with all preemption equipment, includes the monitoring of um, the incoming AC, the battery backup, etc. So here as we leave the firehouse, um, again that enhanced GPS, that dead reckoning GPS actually allows us to know where the fire truck is even inside the fire truck house. Um, as we come up around the corner, that dead reckoning actually gives us um, better indication as this is a low GPS spot. Um, and because of all of those combinations of technology, it actually allows us to do this high speed left turn out of the firehouse with no problems whatsoever. Um, whereas before the GPS might not know exactly where we were, the radar certainly couldn't reach us down in that firehouse. Um, lots of signal problems down there. So you can see we get out of the firehouse, which is quite a frequent um, pathway for these fire trucks to move through. We actually get out of the firehouse and to the scene of the incident 
rather quickly. Um, as we finish up this round, um, next I'm going to show you some screenshots of what this actually looks like from a manager's point of view. This is actually a map showing our run that we just did. Uh, so a department head can actually log on to our browser-based software and view their current and historical locations of all the emergency vehicles, as well as what preemptions they triggered. Here you can see the blue is idle, the red is actually a turn, and the orange is actually triggering the preempt. So I know when and where those preempts were actually turned on. Uh, we actually provide also flexible and in-depth reporting options showing this detailed trip data on request. So this is an actual trip. I blurred out some information, but this is an actual trip report from an emergency vehicle showing the dates, the types, the time spans of all of their trips, how fast they were moving. Um, so that traffic departments can really get some in-depth, flexible reporting options to know when exactly where this happened. So that concludes our live demonstration. For more information, please contact the person at the information provided below. Thank you so much for your attention and have a great day.